And in Delta State, the People's Democratic Party governorship candidate has promised to run an all-inclusive government which will build on the achievements of Governor Ifa Yokowa if elected in the March the 11th election. Sheriff Oberevori said this in an interactive session with journalists in Asaba for the platform organized by the NUG to understand the agenda of candidates. The and PDP governorship candidate is here at the Secretariat of the Nigerian Union of Journalists to meet minds with members of the fourth estate of the realm. Now you are the first government official to visit this befitting edifice after it was commissioned October 28, 2022. And we are very, very glad. Reeling out his achievements as Speaker, Mr. Sheriff informed the press of his agenda and how he hopes to govern the state if elected. The more agenda we sustain the highly successful requires stronger, better agenda, which has given rise to outstanding achievements in physical and human capital development across all parts of Delta State. I must continue to count on your significant support in my bid to become the next governor of Delta State. Let, it, let me make a sincere a pledge. I will serve as governor for all their terms. Journalists had opportunity to engage the candidates and top on the list is the loan approvers by the House of Assembly where he is presiding. Other states that is due, they have made their money. The money is about 200 something billion. And the state government decided to come with a request to see how they, they will approve 150 billion, which we did in April last year. We did that approval. And they are all tied to projects. And they came again that the lead arranger, which is Zero Bank, that they want to change it to premium trust. That's what we did. He also pledges to continue to partner with the media if elected for effective and transparent governance. Another candidate, the PDP Delta North Senatorial candidate, Ned Woko, also engaged journalists on why he is seeking to represent his district at the Senate. Ikenna Amage, TVC News, Asaba.